I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. I'm Brennan Chipotle. And I'm Marcus Lawson, bringing you the morning announcements for Tuesday, November 7th. Attention all students, join the YMCA Youth Leaders Club. It looks great on a resume, there is free food, and gift cards are given out. The next meeting will be November 30th at 7 p.m. To join, contact the YMCA or Nate Line. The Central Valley High School German Club is selling German chocolate advent comedies for $5 each. Every day leading up to Christmas, you can open a window to get another chocolate treat. To buy a chocolate advent calendar, please come to the German Room at ND204 or ask a member of the German Club. The Outreach Club meets after school until 3.15 in Mrs. Vidovich's room on Mondays. Their goal is to share the Gospel of Jesus Christ with our school in different ways. Again, they will meet on Mondays from 2.45 to 3.15 in Mrs. Vidovich's room, SA204. Please join if you want to help share the light of the world in Central Valley. Attention, all students, Emma Miller and Mrs. Cherica are running a shoe donation drive. If you have any old shoes that you don't wear anymore, please consider donating. This is a great way to support your community and donate without spending any extra money. This can also be a great opportunity to get more senior project hours if you need them. If you have any questions or want to donate shoes, see Emma Miller and Mrs. Cherica. Children's Grief Awareness Day will be on November 16th. Children's Grief Awareness Day seeks to bring attention to the fact that often support can make all the difference in the life of a grieving child. Please show your support by wearing blue on Thursday, November 16th. If you would like to participate in honoring a loved one, the guidance office will have posters and activities available for students. Attention all students. Want to travel this summer? Ms. Malone is having an informational meeting on November 15th at 6 p.m. regarding a trip to Berlin, Prague, Cacao, and Budapest. See Mrs. DeLong for more information. Today, November 7th, an admissions counselor from Slippery Rock will be available during academic study hall today for anyone interested in attending or learning more about the school. Washington and Jefferson College will be here tomorrow. Please check in with your academic study hall teacher before reporting to the guidance office. There will be an FBLA meeting today during academic study hall in the auditorium for all paid members. But are you looking for community service hours? Ms. DeLon sent an email to all students about VITA, which stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. How does it work? Students will get IRS certified and then will be able to complete tax returns for all members of our community. In order to get certified, a student will take an open note, open book test. This program will be a standout item on resumes and college applications. So if you're interested, complete the short survey at the end of Mrs. DeLon's community service email. If you have questions, see Mr. Lawn at AA 202. Now we'll go to Zach and Richard with a segment on Teachers Lounge with Mr. Pinchard. Good morning, CB. I'm Zach McLean. And I'm Richard Turkovich to bring you the first episode of the Teachers Lounge. On this episode of Teachers Lounge, we got the opportunity to get an exclusive interview with Mr. Pinshaw. Let's see what he has to say about his first year as a full-time teacher at CVHS. Hey, CV. I'm Richard Turkovich with Mr. Pinshaw, and I'm here to talk to him about his rookie season here at Central Valley. All right, so, Mr. Pinshaw, uh, when did you decide that you wanted to be a teacher? Uh, probably my freshman year of college. All right, I, I went to college thinking I was going to be a lawyer, and both my parents are teachers, and it eventually just hit me one day, and that's what I wanted to do. So what was your favorite subject in school, and why did you decide to teach history? It was history. I think I took every history class Central Valley offered when I went here. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so I've had every teacher here except Mr. Bell. Um, I just loved history. I like the story of it. It's a good thing to learn if you ask me. And now, what was it like transferring from a building sub to a full-time teacher? Uh, a little bit different. I think it comes with its own unique challenges, right? I, I feel like most of you guys see me as a sub. Yeah, maybe still a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to change that. You know, I have my own class to teach, my own expectations. It's something I want to get across to everybody. Maybe get you an elective. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> For our first questions, we have the easy category. Uh, what three branches of government? Legislative, executive, and judicial. That's correct. Yep. And what era marked the switch from agricultural practices to industrial practices? The Industrial Revolution. Yes. Okay. Now for the medium questions. What are the five freedoms guaranteed in the First Amendment? 
freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to peaceably assemble, freedom of protest, and freedom of the press. Yes, sir. Yeah. And now, what is the 21st Amendment? Uh, repealing prohibition. Yes, that is correct. Now, for the hardest question, who was the 21st president of the United States? 20 and 22 are both Grover Cleveland. I'm going to have to tap on I don't think I know who. The correct answer is Benjamin Harrison. Benjamin Henry Harrison. Unfortunately, you will not be our big prize winner. That's all for today, CB. I'm Rich Turgis. There you have it, CB. Tune in next time for the next episode of Teacher's Lounge. That's all we have for you today, CB. Have a great day.